Aries, kings, queens, and everything in between. I am Austria. I went by the queen. I think this shit may be up a little bit too loud. This shit only on 15. Anyway. Today I'll be channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Saturn in regards to career and finance for the first um, week of August to the first week of September. Please keep in mind that this is a general message, so it will not resonate with every Aries. If it doesn't resonate, please check out your other placements. All right. Thank you. So you will be finding peace here. Um, it could be recon sorry, reconciling with an old job or an old belief system in regards to how you want your career path to go. Some of you guys are interested in, in doing something that you loved when you were younger and now you feel like you also you have the opportunity again to do it. I don't normally read these cards in the um, reverse, but you know, we got closure here. It's it. This is with in the reverse. This is giving me like whatever you want to do or whatever you think is too hard to move forward or move toward or whatever we want to say. It's not. It's not over until you say it's over. Is what I'm getting. Okay. All right, we got healing here. Some of you guys are going to be in a place of healing, healing your inner child in order to become the person that you wanted, you always wanted to be. A lot of you guys are healing your business relationships or healing um, things in your business, like certain stuff could have not been going the way that they should have went or according to plan or something. But now you're moving toward, you've set a plan, set a course to get things done the way that you want them to be so that you can be successful. All right, we got passion here. This is definitely something that you're passionate about. This is like, um, this could even be something that it's like, like, something that you're destined to do here definitely a creative project all right we got animals here some of you guys could be seeing your spirit animal a lot during this transformative um, time you could also be in a place where you're working with animals and this is just um or you could want to work with animals and this is just clarification to give you that extra jump okay or extra boost all right, let's go ahead. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Jupiter and Saturn. Thank you, Spirit, for clear and concise messages. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, so we have adjustments are required. We have surrender to the divine and a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. All right, so we got full moon and third quarter moon and new moon in Virgo. So this is giving me the sense that a lot of you guys could have been in a place where maybe you were expecting more from a situation than you were giving to it. All right. A lot of you guys need to understand that this is the time in which you're needing to build this situation. Um, you may not be getting the revenue that you want, right? You may not be getting the, the funds that you want for this business, but you can see it coming, right? So it's like, just give yourself time to grow here. And also give all of your doubts and shit. Get that shit to the divine because you cannot certain things are going to happen because of the energy that you put out and the work that you the work and effort that you put into it right and this is one of those things but that doubt and shit that's keeping you in that negative energy okay so it's not it's keeping certain shit stagnant especially the things that you're trying to manifest all right all right we have show the world the real you full moon in aquarius 
Okay, I'm definitely getting a sense of being more confident in yourself and what you want and what you have to offer. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't got it, okay? All right, let's see what's moving out in the past, what's coming in the current moment, the challenges that you'll be facing, what's coming in new. Okay, what needs to be done as well as what's coming in in the near future here. Thank you. here i release the need to know all the answers right you can't doubt yourself stop putting yourself in that mind space you're in this place you could be feeling like you're unbalanced feeling like something is a bit off here for you all right let's go ahead and jump into that past energy moving out all right we got guilt I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Right. And I don't know what you could be guilty of. Like I said, I felt like there could have been a sense of feeling like maybe you took too much from a situation or you didn't give as much as you could have gave to someone or something like that um, for some. But yeah, you don't need to feel those feelings. Whatever... Whatever is around you, whatever is surrounding you, it's meant to be there, okay? Go ahead and give me what, what else, uh, why else guilt is here, spirit. All right. We got three of wands in the reverse here. All right. So that's definitely giving me this sense of something disappointing you. There was some sort of setback in the past here. Also, for a lot of you, you could have been waiting for something to come towards you or something to like fix itself is what I'm getting and you kind of can't yeah you could have been waiting for something to fix itself with the seven of pentacles could have been being very patient about something coming around here yeah two of pentacles in the reverse again with the balance in the reverse because this is all about the it says balancing out act avenue right so this is all about being balanced and something wasn't something wasn't um equal in the past here you know, you may have felt like you were neglected or that you possibly neglected something. You could have also felt like your monetary situation wasn't where, where it needed to be. And you weren't doing the things that you needed to do to make it better, right? But all of that energy is moving out. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It was like you felt like you weren't moving forward, you know? All right, let's see. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. You see, this is a surrender. Surrender to the divine. Okay. And then it says, you know, you got to have patience, baby. All right. Let's see. Why else is patience here in the current moment? And I know that's hard for a fire sign because I'm a, uh, especially an Aries. And I'm an Aries son as well. So I get it. But, you know, you can't expect everything that just happened. It, it does not always work like that. It sometimes does. But it does not always work like that. All right. Yeah, nine of swords here. This is something like <laughs> you're very anxious about something here. Very anxious about something coming into fruition the way that you want it to. Okay. Yeah, seven of wands here. Something that you're very, like you're very guarded about this. You're also, um, you're very defensive about this. And I'm getting if this is something that you're passionate about. This passion project, maybe. It's like you're very nervous that it isn't going to happen the way that you want it to happen here. Or that it, it's not going to take off here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're feeling like it's a possibility that this isn't going to go the way that you want. And you're doing a lot of self-judgment here. A lot of negative self-talk. You know, um, you definitely need to be patient and, and stop um, 
what, what's the word I'm looking for? Stop judging yourself, um, comparing yourself to other people and what they have going on, okay? Everything happens in the time in which it should, okay? A lot of you guys may have had to step away from this passion project for a while to be able to come back to it because it was a bit too, it was a bit too much. It was a bit stressful here. Okay, failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. What did I just say? You, you, a lot of you could have had to step back, you know, and in stepping back, maybe you felt like that was a failure, but that was your challenge that you had to understand that, you know, everything isn't going to work out the way that you want it to, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you failed. You learn from the opportunity and you keep moving forward. All right, we got the seven of swords in the reverse. <laughs> so a lot of you guys, okay. A lot of you guys aren't telling people this. You aren't, you're not uh, telling people how you feel about this. Um, you're keeping this shit on the down low for everything that has to do with this business, seven of swords in the reverse. This is just something that you constantly think about. But you're keeping, like, your mind is wandering, and it shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be wandering here because you need to reflect, yes. But you don't stay in a place where you're second-guessing yourself, okay? Because you're thinking to yourself, like, what is it? What can I do? Like, why Why am I not, you know, getting the money for my product like I want to? Or why am I not selling this service as good as I used to or something like that. Three of Swords in the reverse. A lot of you guys could have been in a place um, where you were deeply hurt by something. But this, and it could have reflected into your business, right? But this is not going to last you're moving on you're getting something new you're going to learn from your mistakes of the past and move forward here you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys have to forgive yourself in order to do this okay because you can't just put yourself in a position where you're feeling so like negative about yourself and the things that you want or negative that you need time for your fucking self because I'm getting a lot of you guys may have stepped away from whatever you were doing for a while. And you were really beating yourself up about that. Everybody need a fucking break. Alright. Alright, we got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Facts. Facts. And this is what you need to do. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that whatever you been guided to do whatever path you've been guided to take you know exactly what that is do what feels right do what feels right to, with you okay yeah knight of cups message of romance and invitations and when you start trusting yourself a lot of new doors are going to be opening for your passion project for what you are passionate about Yeah, and then you're going to be moving forward, chariot card. You're going to have so much success here. But you have to believe in yourself, believe in what you want to do in order for this to come into fruition. No negative self-talk here. Surrender all of that negative shit to the divine so you can keep it moving. Not, right, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Because if you don't, you're going to slow yourself down. And you're going to stop moving. If you don't trust yourself, you're going to stop moving here. And this is something that you're so extremely passionate about. But with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, you have to put that same passion and effort and love for this. And also not let the shit scare you and hold you back. Because I'm getting somebody to go back and forth with themselves about if, if they can even pull this off here. Fear, right? I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So a lot of you guys are afraid here. And it's taking a lot for you not to be. Let's see. All 
All right, Knight of Wands, messenger of acting first and thinking later. And that's Leo's energy as well as Cancer's, but this is also your energy. You need to just jump out there to do what you do best. Like, stop stop dwelling on shit that you cannot control or and you cannot change. Right? You have to see things from a different perspective for you to be able to move forward here. King of Wands. A lot of you guys have your own business. Okay? A lot of you guys have your own business. You have to stop seeing, and this is what I just heard. Stop seeing yourself as the knight and like somebody that's struggling to make it and see yourself as somebody that's already fucking made it okay the the king of wands is an entrepreneur a businessman they get shit done stop seeing yourself in that light so that you can create your own reality okay yeah nine of pentacles in the reverse here it's like you're your own worst enemy you're self-sabotaging this this situation Whenever you're pushing to move forward, you get shit done. You, you see progression. It's like the universe knows that your ass is impatient. So they keep showing you shit. Like, let's say that you, shit, I don't know, you do YouTube too, right? You do YouTube. So every time you do a new video, every time you post some shit, every time you record some shit, now your subscribers are going up. Now your views are going up. Because the universe see you trying, right? Because the universe know you need that microwave shit, right? So you got to put the effort and you also have to believe in yourself okay so that it can come in the time in which you want okay message for aries please spirit message for aries aries sun moon rising jupiter and saturn spirit and i do close my eyes for this because you know it's what's in the cards all right love in spite of it all it says before the odyssey ever began there was you your best friends and wide-eyed curiosity among you about who would be the first to leap the first to forget the first to kiss the first to tell the first to fall the first to get back up and the first to remember that it all began with an with a dare to love in spite of it all is that you what they say Murgatroyd, <laughs> the universe. P.S. I remember the glints in your eyes, all three of them. Yeah, yeah. It says your treasure is at hand. Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zipper. But most, more often than not, one learns the most laughs the loudest and smiles the widest with those they've already found especially when they stop looking elsewhere actually zippier is on quite a few lists to tell you how the universe so you already have what you need okay you already have everything that you need to be successful you just have to believe that you can be successful all right now I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. If you're interested in a personal message, that information is in the description box. I send all of the love and support back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.